What's up guys, hope you all have an amazing day and welcome back to new Microsoft Flight Simulator video. In this one, we're going to look at the top 5 must-have freeware add-ons for Microsoft Flight Simulator. These are in no way or form going to be listed from best to worst. These are just in the list that I made from what I think are the best ones that you must have. So let's get started with it. The first one is going to be the A32NX or the fly-by-wire project that the community is working on. The goal of this is to make a study level A320 neoplane. This is basically comparable to the 737 Zebo from X-Plane 11, as they are basically trying to do the same thing, building off default aircraft and trying to make that a beautiful study level aircraft. There's around 32 real world A320 pilots helping on this project and trying to make it amazing. And there's already been more than 20 systems that have already been modified to match the real world system. And I mean even the no smoking and seatbelt signs are working. I've flown with this one lots of times and everything is looking beautiful. They're updating it so many times and I think it's just an amazing work that they're doing. You might be asking yourself, how do you actually download this? Well, let me show you. It's pretty simple. You go to the link in the description, which I linked down below. It's going to be the link towards their Discord channel. And then once you're in here, read through the welcome and read through the rules so you don't do anything wrong. Then go down until you see the A320 releases. You should see a link where it says fly-by-wire. Click on that fly-by-wire link. Then press on yep and it will open a new page looking like this. Once you're in here, press on the step one to download the stable build and then press on the stable. It will now automatically download and that might depend on how long your internet or how quick your internet is so it always it's always going to be different. Then if you're using the Steam version what you have to do is go into File Explorer, go down until you see this PC, go to your new or wherever you installed your Windows, go to Users, then go to whichever one you use, for me it's Henry, then go to App Data, you can also change this by going up on View and then press on hidden items. So for instance, if I don't have that on, you're not gonna see the app data. So press on view and press on hidden items. Now you'll see app data. Go in there, then go to roaming, go down to Microsoft Flight Simulator, packages, community, then press on the WinRAR file that you just downloaded. So the A32NX, and then drag that simply into your community folder by doing this and you'd be done. For the other steps, there's going to be links right down here where you can install them. So for the Microsoft, it's basically the same thing. You just go to local and then packages. And for the box edition, you just go into wherever you installed it. For the second must-have freeware option, I'd go with the Cessna 152X Realism Mod. It is again another aircraft that you can download. It is not a completely new aircraft. It is again like the A32NX build upon the Cessna 152. The goal of this is also to make it a real live study level Cessna 152. It is being actively worked on by the community again, and it has lots of great improvements. It's a must have if you are into GA aircraft flying, and I absolutely love it, and it's performing like a charm. So make sure to check it out, and the installation is basically the same as for the A32 NX. Drop it into your community folder, and you're good to go. For the third freeware add-on, I'd recommend the Hyon Snow Glass Cockpit FPS Boost. This is especially for people who are not experiencing good FPS in their actual sim, and I'd recommend them to get this. This improves the FPS in cockpits for airliners and GA aircrafts. You can see he has provided us with a couple of graphs on his computer, for instance. So the Boeing 747 goes up from 22 FPS to almost 40 FPS. The Airbus A320 goes up from 30 to 49 FPS, and then the Boeing 787 goes from 18 FPS to 33 FPS, and then there's a couple of more comparison to GA aircrafts. Again, this is especially for people who are not getting good FPS, and you can also see my FPS on the right side, then the A320 taking off, but don't take my specs for comparison, my FPS, because I probably have a little bit of an overkill computer compared to yours. Again, the installation for this one is very simple. Drag it into your community folder and you're finished. And the fourth freeware that you must have is one of my favorite ones. 
as it is the Microsoft Flight Simulator Livery Mega Pack. This is another one by the community that is being worked on by a lot of designers and has a total of 325 liveries and there's one coming out very soon which is for the 787 so it's probably going to increase to I'd say like 400 liveries. It's being updated very frequently, it's already on version 8 and it's only been out for I think 3 weeks. It has liveries for almost all and every single airplane in the sim. There's 167 different liveries for the A320neo and it's very easy to install. Just like the previous installations, all that you have to do is download it from the link in the description below where you'll join the Discord server and then go into the download sections. Then just drag it into your community folder and you're done. And the fifth and final must-have freeware add-on is going to be Sim Toolkit Pro. This is a very nice third-party feature which allows you to have a live map of all the people. You'll be able to track your flights, see their height, their landing speeds, as you can see right down here. Mine is 146. We're not going to look at this one, which is negative 624. Don't worry about that one. And you can also see a complete map of everybody in here. You can easily connect it to your Microsoft Flight Simulator, your X-Plane, P3D, whatever you use. And then you have a live map, like I said. If you click on there, you'll be able to see almost every single person. You'll be also able to see flight for Pilot Edge, Evao, Vatsim, ATC, and everything like that. It's a great implementation. You can see the daytime zones or the time zones where it's daytime and nighttime. And for some parts of the world, you even be able to see weather data. You can do an in-flight planning, so you can import an existing plan, and then you'll be able to see, for instance, streamer tools. You can do sim brief briefing, you can do a route, or you can find me a route by searching for any route by an airline. For instance, if we type in Air Canada, and then you can select Air Canada Rouge or Air Canada. And then once that is loaded, you'll be able to see every single flight that Air Canada operates and you can fly that as well. So you can zoom in and see all the different routes, for instance, Vancouver down to Hawaii. Just amazing. I love it. And then the best part about it is your logbook, which is great. You'll be able to see what flights you've done, what your landing speed on that been, what your altitude profile was. You have even have a scratch map, arrival time, departure, a lot of great features, which is a must-have. And if you're a streamer, you can also use the tools and data, or the streaming tools down here, and you'll be able to have a nice little display which shows you your ground speed, vertical speed, heading, ETA, network registration, IAS, altitude, flight path, a flight phase, call sign, and airframe. Amazing feature to have, even if you stream. And thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you have an amazing day, and make sure to subscribe.